he's gone we left everything and followed him but jesus is gone what is going to be our future but the bible says jesus himself went with them jesus himself went to be with them and walked that's the grace god is going to give every one of you tonight he says i myself will come with you i myself will come with you i'm god almighty but i'm god almighty for your sake for your sake to show myself powerful in your life i'm god almighty says i will dwell with you i myself will dwell with you i myself will walk with you but talk to me leave your burdens to me and my new mercies will come no more sorrow no more pain all things will become new your old things will pass away don't fight your battles by yourself my brother my sister my child you will never win you can get the millions but what is the next step today people rise up in fame to great heights but they cannot stay there they have to search after depression pills they have to search for depression treatments alas many in their lives they can't handle it by themselves but jesus says i have done it for you on the cross i have taken your sorrows on the cross i have been a man of sorrows acquainted with grief i have sacrificed myself to carry your sorrows i don't want you to be a man of sorrow i don't want you to be a woman of sorrow i don't want you to be a person of sorrow i want you to have my new blessings every day every day i myself god himself will dwell amongst you and you will be his people from today the lord told me you will see him running your life all things shall pass away forget the old things remember not the old things but from now on god is making everything new in all things you shall be more than conquerors through him who loved you god will wipe away tears from all faces from all faces my precious friend the lord has a very special blessing for you today and especially today as my wife evangeline ministers unto you i believe it will bring great blessing to you the presence of god is so real every time she ministers and i'm sure god will turn your sorrow into joy as you hear these words of great comfort and also as she prays for you draw near to god and god will draw near to you his compassions faileth not surely he'll wipe away all your tears embrace you kiss you and give you a new life here's evangeline my precious wife of 26 years to bring you this message of hope dear friends the bible says in Isaiah 64 and 24 before they call i will answer before you call i will answer and the psalmist says in psalm 139 and 
Before a word is on my mouth, you know it completely, O oh Lord. Before we could say a word even, the Bible says the Lord listens to every one of our prayers, every one of our word. He knows it. Dear friends, in Job 2.13, the Bible says when Job lost all his children, ten children, and lost everything in life, his friends came and sat with him for seven days in silence just to comfort him. That was the tradition for those people to be with him for seven days. Those who are mourning, they would go to them and sit with them for seven days. But then, as Job began to speak, they refused to listen to him. But then, on the other hand, they talked and talked and talked and failed to comfort Job. Dear friends, many times we think that People around us will listen to us, will help us, will comfort us. But then when we go through problems, it is only the Lord who will listen to us. He will allow that situation to happen in our lives. That's why Job said in Job 31 and 35, Oh, that I had someone to listen to me. I had someone to listen to me. He knew that the Lord listened to him. And that's why the Lord blessed him twice as much as he had before. The Lord blessed his latter part than the first. Dear friends, as you have come here to call upon the Lord, the Lord will never send you back empty-handed. He will listen to your prayers and he will have to answer our prayers tonight. In Malachi 3.16 the Bible says, those who feared the Lord talked with each other and the Lord listened and heard. Dear friends, when we gather together, every time when we gather together and call upon the Lord, the Lord will listen. He will be sitting with us, listening to everything that would come from our heart. You may be listening to the word of God, but then within your heart you will be saying something to yourself. But then the Lord will listen to even that whisper that would come from you, dear friends. The Lord is closely listening to you. Never say that, I am alone. I am a lonely person. Nobody is there to help me. The Lord is here with you, dear friends, listening to you, listening to you. Job went through all problems in life, but then he believed in God. And he said, there is someone who is listening to me. I had someone who listened, listened to me. Let us have that hope. And today, let us have a miracle from God, dear friends. In the same way, whenever we gather together as a family and have a family prayer, the Lord would come there. And he will speak to us through words of prophecy, through uh, my husband, saying about the future, about what is going to happen in the ministry, about what is going to happen in every one of our lives. And that would give us so much of confidence to move forward. Dear friends, let us dedicate our lives to pray together as a family every day. I am glad to see you as a family here. From now on, let us tell this to God. Lord, I am going to pray together as a family every day. That's why our family is blessed today, today, dear friends. 
the lord has compensated every one of our losses every one of my loss and he has blessed me in double measure before i got married i mean after i got married i thought everything is will be fine i am going to be happy because i will be in the family who are in the i will be in the midst of prayer this family will be always praying for me and i'll be all right but then just for me to come closer to god the lord took away my mother and i lost my father my brother and i lost all the joy in my life and i said i cried out to the lord lord compensate everything in double measure somehow give me joy give me joy and in the year 2008 when our father brother dgs tanakran was about to die when he was in the sick bed we were all so sad and at that time we had to go to a place in india for for a crusade taught in the crusade to speak but then we didn't have enough time to pray fast and pray but then i cried out to the lord lord i didn't get any word from you what am i going to do give me a word lord and the time came to go to the to that place for us to minister but till then i didn't get any word from the lord and i lost all the confidence i was so depressed and at that night we was as we were staying in a hotel room i was praying to the lord and crying lord what am i going to do without your word i cannot go and speak and i heard a still small voice in my ears saying my child go to sleep go to sleep get up tomorrow morning and pray with your husband i will fill you with my spirit i will fill both of you with my spirit and the peace came into my heart and i slept that night like a baby and the next day morning came i was waiting to pray with my husband but then he was talking to our staff members over the phone one after the other he was attending the call and i was so frustrated i took the receiver from his hand and put it down and i said you better come for prayer because every day morning we used to pray as a family our children were not there so we both began to pray dear friends exactly as the lord spoke to me the lord filled us with the holy spirit and the joy of the holy spirit filled my heart and i was speaking in tongues and the love of the lord was flowing into my heart like anything and in between our prayers i saw the lord just right before us and i saw his beautiful face and he was smiling and smiling and smiling and i was crying and crying and i could not bear the love of the lord and i was thanking the lord from that day on dear friends everything changed everything became new in my life and the lord started to use me mightily from that day on 
mighty miracles happened in my ministry the lord helped me to speak the next day and i was so confident with the word of the lord and the lord blessed thousands and thousands of people through me dear friends i was a very shy person before but then today as the lord listened to my prayer and fill me with the holy spirit i am a new person in the lord will not god do that for you dear friends and use you to millions and millions of people today you may say i am alone i am a lonely person i am an unworthy person but then god remember that god is with you god is with you God is so close to you dear friends. He's a God who answers our prayers. My precious friend, God has a special grace to be endured in your life. Yes, indeed Evangeline will be back with a message, but I want to give you a special message and a special call. God wants to build your home. God wants to prosper all that you do. Yes, there is a family blessing plan in the ministry of Jesus calls which you can become a partner of. And as you support this ministry for the families, God will build your home. Yes, indeed, like any other plan, you can give $31 a month to help minister to the families. broken families broken hearted family members and give them hope through the love of Jesus Christ here's how you can join with us and bring hope to families as you bring hope to these families through your support and your involvement god will build your family he turns the sorrow into joy and builds the lonely into families may he do that for you Send your contributions to Jesus Calls International, 8855 North Stemmons Freeway, Dallas, Texas, 75247. Contribute online at www.jesuscalls.com. The more we go near to him, we will get more revelations. he will reveal to us the mysteries of god this happened in my life dear friends this year when i was praying lord what word will you give me this this year the lord said my daughter i will fill your mouth with laughter i will fill you with rejoicing with rejoicing in your spirit fill your tongues with rejoicing this is going to happen in your lives too dear friends whenever you sit at the lord's feet the lord will fill you with the joy of the holy spirit that is the strength we can have in our lives dear friends even tonight this is going to happen shall we all look up to god and say lord thank you for you are with me lord shall we all close our eyes and look up to god and cry out to god saying lord i need you more in my life i need you more in my life lord father without you i am nothing i am nothing i am nothing come near to god come near to god and he will come near to you dear friends open your hearts and welcome him welcome him to fill you with the joy of the holy spirit shall we all open our mouth and thank god for just few moments and receive god in our hearts and carry god in our hearts thank you jesus thank you father for coming into every one of our hearts and filling us with your joy with your joy shall we all thank god for few minutes 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, as you have promised us to open a new door in our lives, Lord, to come closer to us, Lord, and to reveal us, Lord. Reveal yourself to us, Lord. Father, we believe you, Master. We believe you, Lord. We believe you. Shall we all stand up and cry out to God for a few seconds? Shall we all rise up to our feet and thank God? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we all release ourselves? Never be ashamed of the other person who is sitting beside you, dear friends. Come on, be bold to come to the throne of God, to go to the throne of God. Nobody in this world can help you, dear friends, other than God, other than God. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. The Lord said, wherever three, two or three are gathered in my name, I will be there. I will be there. I will be there. The Lord is here with us, dear friends. He is entering into every one of your heart right now. Right now. Right now. Fill their cups, Lord. With your abundance, Lord. With your abundance, Master. Father, let them jump with joy. Let their cups overflow right now. Fill them with your spirit, Lord. What more we need in this world other than you, Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If God can be with us, who can be against us? The Lord is with you, dear friends. Come on, arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is coming upon you right now. Right now. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every chain is being broken right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Lord is filling everyone right now. Right now, every darkness is being removed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Break every chain, Lord. Break every chain in their lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let your light shine upon your people as they have come a long way to receive a miracle, Lord. Father, go with them, Lord Jesus. Go with them, Master. Go with them. Let your presence go before them, Lord, and make every crooked path straight in the name of Jesus. Father, let blessings flow in their lives. Blessings flow in their lives. Let every blocked door be open in the name of Jesus. Let the jobs be given unto them, Lord. Let them have a child in their womb right now. Bless them, Lord Jesus. Let your blessings come upon your people as they have opened their hearts to you to come and live in them, Master. Bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord Jesus. I know many are sick and you are suffering with pain in your bodies. Father, touch them and heal them, Lord. Touch them and heal them, Master. Let every pain be gone in Jesus' name. Let them be healed, Lord. Let them be healed. Let them be healed. You are close to the broken-hearted people, Lord. Father, wipe away their tears, Lord. How long they should suffer like this, Lord. It is enough, Lord. It is enough. Touch them and heal them, Master. Right now, miracle is happening, dear friends. Believe. Just believe and praise God. Praise God. Shall we all praise God with all our hearts, saying, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I believe in you, Lord. I believe the miracle 
right now right now right now it is happening it is happening whatever may be your prayer request they are being granted to you right now granted to you right now by our heavenly father loving father by our loving jesus thank you jesus thank you father let every need be met in the name of jesus in the name of jesus thank you father lord father many are praying for the spirit of revelation lord father fill them with your spirit lord with the spirit of wisdom and revelation master right now right now right now the lord is filling you with the spirit of wisdom and revelation to know god more to know god more to love god more thank you jesus thank you father for filling them with such a spirit to know you lord to know what is in your heart master and to bless others lord thank you father thank you jesus Lord you are working deep in their hearts right now deep in their hearts right now thank you father shall we all believe and give glory to god give glory to god something new is happening right now right now right now thank you lord thank you lord jesus don't you feel the presence of the lord right now Thank you Jesus. Are you not happy dear friends? Come on. Rejoice. 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 All your sorrows will be turned into a joy. Into a joy. Into a joy. Pack them with your joy, Lord. With your joy. Let your tears be wiped away right now. Father, let every word that comes out of their mouth bring miracles lord bring miracles lord thank you jesus thank you for blessing them for filling their mouth with goodness master with goodness satisfy them lord right now right now satisfy them with your goodness lord thank you jesus if you want to know more about jesus calls international visit our website jesuscalls.com